Hi guys, today I'm showing you the latest AliExpress finds for the dolls and maybe dolls I've got themselves. quite a few oh. things. During the lockdown I ordered, um, was ordering a few bits and bobs here and then and so I decided just to kind of collate them in one and just put a video out. So if you're interested in this kind of video, stay tuned. I'm going to be looking at some things. I'm going to review in them, um, including dolls, wigs, clothes, um, other finds, which are not necessarily for dolls, but which can be adopted for the dolls. So guys, the first is, um, because it's just the biggest one, I would say, um, are the wings. And uh, also, originally, they're supposed to be for photo shoots. Uh, for the babies and even you got included a um, pair of elastic which you're gonna attach to the baby in fact you can do the same with the dolls <laughs> so this is more of um, MSD slash small SD um, wings so if I grab somebody first, just here, laying about. So that's a tall MSD male. So the wings probably will suit him quite well. This is so cute. And I believe this set is for like Blights, Barbies. I think it's Barbies, really. Barbies. Um, and the price of it was, I mean, I think it was three pounds. And I always thought, mm, that's really cheap. And it comes with the bag. Okay, let me just unglue it. I haven't opened it yet. I'm literally opening with you. So, get excited together. Okay. So, this is... What's that? Let me just look off camera. Okay. The Velcro, some people don't like Velcro, I don't mind them, as long as they are not damaging anything. You've got Velcro on the back, but you've got a hook on, on, a, on the neck part. That's wicked, no color. Okay, so this is a bit better quality, I am saying that. <laughs> Like I said, luckily it's non-fray fabric, so it doesn't really matter. The belt is made of just this is just a piece of um, fake leather and the velcro on the back as well. And the skirt, oh, the skirt is good. The skirt is pretty good. Good petticoat. Mm. Yeah, petticoat. And we've got got pinky, kinky golf, so probably tights if they're stretchy enough. No, they're probably gonna be socks. <laughs> okay. And a handbag or cross body bag or sports bag more likely oh, got Chinese paper in there mm, got velcro on the sides in here they're not dreads they're obviously something else <laughs> so previously I made wig with them mm, uh, for SD size doll if you're making for SD doll um, you need two of them more clothes so this again for Brabby now the reason I ordered this clothes I know I can make clothes it's not the problem but it was so ridiculously cheap and I thought how can you make it this looks fine but I keep forgetting that when you buy things like from AliExpress and if they if they look great and cost nothing means that you get what you pay for. <laughs> I have another doll coming which is not 
not a common scale for me. I mean, not a routine or normal scale. Um, it's used this size. However, it's a mature one. So I thought she'll fit Barbie. Ho ho no. I hoped she's gonna fit Barbie clothes. So that's why I started ordering some more kind of not typical Barbie style, but more kind of mature adult clothes. So um, this is quite a nice dress. I did open it previously just to see what the quality was. Obviously it's Velcro here. And it is quite a good dress. This set was very expensive to what it is. So this originally for Action Girl. And on a picture this dress looks um, absolutely beautiful with this um, with the sleeve, it's sleeveless dress, but you have this thing like goes around your chest, which is like makes it look really lovely. I thought it's one piece, but it's arrived like that. So the dress made of some stretchy, well, slight stretchy fabric, more like lycra or something like that. Um, the quality for what I paid is disgusting. Um, it's I think it's I paid seventeen or twenty pounds for it, something between the lines. And to be fair, if I would know that it's going to look like that, I would never even touch it with a barge pole. The only good thing about it is that um, it's the, um, these are really great. I mean, they're not brabby at all. They're like really proper style shoes. Um, they're not soft. Well, they kind of bend here a little bit. So softish. Or maybe it's made of from vinyl or plastic hard plastic on the bottom like a proper sole but they're really good quality this the pair of the shoes um i don't think my bgd which is incoming one gonna fit them but i'll try to fit the other doll which i'm gonna show you in a minute you've probably seen it the smiling one <laughs> some of you who on my instagram uh follow me on instagram seen this <laughs> funny lady so she's currently wearing, if some of you recognize, she's wearing uh, the rainbow high jacket. Well, pretty much everything, including the shoes. <laughs> ah, so she's so cute. I, 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 you know, this is again, this, this is not BJD. It's not my kind of dolls in terms of I don't really collect them or anything. But because she got this facial expression, which just amuses me, I thought I can't pass that go at all so yeah I mean her hair is great and luckily um, I kind of seen in, on Kim's um, channel or channel on the Instagram she I think she had uh, these factory blights um, and she had hair which got open like that and you can see the hairline then so I thought I'll get the doll which have this covered I mean, the hair quality is amazing, you know, her um, routine is, oh my god, it's properly done. I mean, and I paid, so I bought it during the, they had the sales a few weeks back on AliExpress, and I ordered it during the sale of 26 quid. And her body is amazing, you know, I had a bit so bodies before, like um, 1-6 scale, USD ones, and they, these are very similar bodies. I mean, quality-wise, as well as articulation. Okay, so obviously she's not going to fit that. That's completely wrong uh, size. But I'm just, you know, I'm just taking the things out of the box as they come. So I'm not going to... There's no special deliberate order to it or anything like that. Toggles. Um, they're tiny ones. I think they're 2 centimeters long. They're perfect for SD or maybe MSD size code. And I made the code uh, using them. I'll show you. So that's the code. This is MSD size. And um, so, yeah. They, they're pretty alright. They're not overly oversized for MSDs, but obviously I think SD scale is going to work better for them, definitely. And some more pounds. Um, this is for... SD 10. So this is one of the, pardon the nudity, this is one of the 
uh, tall MSD bodies, male body. Let's see what the heck gonna fit them. I mean, the standard MSDs, guys, no way. I mean, it's gonna be too big. Actually, this one looks fine. Mm, looks a bit like granny's. Oh, I mean, granddad pants. But yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah. This um, one third scale trousers, and they are fake leather. Uh, you know what? I don't remember which shop I got them from. I think it might be not AliExpress, it might be eBay. I'll just look in my smart door, the one which arrived Friday. I might be able to show it on her. Yeah, so that's fine. She can even sit on them just without exposing her bottom. Yeah. Oh. Ah, this was the buy um, which I wasn't particularly happy about because I, I did order uh, in one third of scale, which is SD1. Uh, unfortunately, it's oversized. If I'm gonna wear it for, um, if I'm gonna put it on SD doll, the SD10 one, I mean, the smaller one, this gonna be oversized. I'll demonstrate on the smart doll again. This obviously a cake stand, but you know it's like um, supposed to be famous for the weddings. You know, famous for the wedding. I came across it actually um, in that section at the time, and I think it's. I mean, it's plastic. It's not glass. It's um, and they come in different colors. There is a gold one in there, um, silver obviously, and, and brass. I think so. This is a perfect scale for MSDs, so cake for MSDs is going to fit here. Look pretty cool. Talking of cakes, cinnamon buns. Who doesn't like cinnamon buns? I love cinnamon buns. I'm like a bun myself, so I'm going to be. Um, so 10 of them. This is always a cabotrons, MSD hand. They're probably more actually USD. So if you're talking about food, another great buy, I thought. Mandarins. And they they super light. They super light. They made of instead of polystyrene, I believe. So it's like a fake food. And um, this is SD size scale. Apples. Again, this is SD scale. Apples are amazing. Can't complain about them. They look great on display, like a fruit bowl or something, you know. Peaches, same with the peaches. Peaches are even better. They've got this fuzz, you know, the peach fuzz. They have got it. I don't know if the camera will show it, but definitely you can probably pick it up. So the peach fuzz is great. However, the potato is a bit of a let down and they're too big and I don't know what scale they're supposed to be. However, you can get big potatoes, you know, you can have baked potato, for instance. Okay, another doll. So, actually, it's arrived as a body. And this is one six scale body. Uh, this actually body is really good. Originally, I got it for my Paola, Paola Reina doll, but unfortunately, it was too small and the head looked too big on it. So, um, I kind of... Um, it's double jointed, mobility joint here. Uh, it can move only up and down. Don't think it can move on the side. But however, the the arm can rotate in the socket, in the shoulder socket, uh, up to here, and it's double jointed, which is lovely. That, that I mean, this this body is really good. Um, and the head bought separately only because, like I said, I don't want to just have a body laying about. So I got the head, so you can see it doesn't really match um, the skin. Uh, the head is uh, okay. Um, 
it's okay. I mean, it's not as bold as um, you would expect for the for the price. <laughs> so, but it yeah, the, the the body is okay. Now the wigs. Okay, I've got a couple of wigs actually ordered. So this wig is still in the packet. Three wigs, not two, three. So this is two wigs. Plus I'll show you the one old my lady just modeling. So that's the kind of short wig. It's supposed to be um, like a bob. Mm, but I found that this is more for dark female if 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 you know what I'm saying. She's a bit she's blonde girl in my opinion, not uh, brunette. But that's the wig and the coat is pretty good. Um it's not a rough and it's quite soft hair, really soft. So you can probably style it the way you want it, like these. However these two wigs are not a good buy at all. Yeah, this week's a good buy in terms of bye bye. The reason I'm saying that is because they did they, they fit none of my dolls. <laughs> That's the reason. They the huge the cap is huge. If you see me opening the smart doll, um the previous video I had and her wig is quality is exactly the same. So I wouldn't say it's great. Um uh, but I need to, the doll need to wear it in order to see it properly. I can't put in any of my dolls because, like I said, it's a huge wig. And this orange one, um, same mistake, too big. Um, I think the quality of this one is actually not too bad. I think it was early, I spoke too early. Orange, that's why I liked it, but unfortunately, as a one, and this is so cute, though. This is so cute, it's definitely for USD size, so she will fit that definitely. Will and this again? Um, this shirt is too big, if it was size like this, it would be perfect for his for my SDs, but this size is too big. It's just huge, and I don't have dolls of this size. This is a dress like for Barbie dress, and it was quite a good fit for my Meow from Resin Soul 1 6 scale doll. Um, yeah, it was good. Needed. Now, it really depends on your creativity, what you can use it for. So, originally, obviously, this is a Mm. Bracelet, rocker one. Um, I was thinking making it into so this um piece, this ring, can be removed. Um, piece of leather made to it, and this goes around the waist. So you kind of cover the, with this hand the chest area while this all dangling that was my intention I haven't realized it yet uh, but um, it's something I, I'm intended to do with this bracelet and another one you know that I like bracelets um, and I like buying them because they make a great belt so, and this is another great idea for belt um, because this is magnetic A perfect fit for probably even um, MSDs, so depends what you're wearing. Carpets, not the flying one, unfortunately. But it's, um, I think, in one of my other videos, I did demonstrate um, the round carpet. Originally, it's intended for. Um, mouse mat, and this is a bit bigger one, so definitely nice for it's like maybe a rug or a carpet or something like that. 
and the kind of DIY more suggestion of things in this is templates or transfers whatever they're called templates um, when I was a kid we used to have loads of them how did I do so this is a piece of cloth it's a fake leather and I transferred it using the just the acrylic you can use the sponge to dab it or just paint over it and I think sponge probably better because it wouldn't leak like this leak because I used the brush so and you creation the patterns you can use it to make clothes you can make handbags again more with DIY um, so I bought lots of eyelets and the tool which fits the eyelets you know the one you use with the hammer like to, to fit them um, yeah so I got them because I, I need to run out of the eyelets for and this actually crimps they are de decorate decorative ones um, um, again referring to back to some of my videos how to make the uh, armor coat for the dolls I'm, I'm using these things and showing how I did it and this buckles again for the same kind of project similar project I'm gonna use the buckles and as a DIY or maybe not even DIY not necessarily to do just a gift I think some random stuff so originally I got them for this um, they're called beer right they advertise as a beer uh, miniature cups but it's not obviously they kind of kill in a jar I would say more I saw people making them on with different things inside like with the straws and so on. okay now adults only guess what it is Yeah, that's what it is. It's actually walking as well. It's vibrating, so I wouldn't. Um, it's a massager. Mm, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful. Bye.